Good morning everyone and welcome back. And today I'm continuing my search for a really big late season snapper. If you haven't tuned into some of the recent videos, I've been on a mission to try and catch one of these really big late season snapper and it's proving to be a massive challenge. But today I am a little bit more confident than usual because behind me I have an esky which is filled with the freshest and best baits that I could ever, ever want. I actually went out yesterday morning, caught some giant squid, a heap of whiting. So today we've got premium eating quality baits to use to try and tempt one of these giant late season fish. So you guys know the deal. I'm quickly gonna set up this kayak and then I actually have to wait about half an hour to get out because I got here a little bit early. I was fairly excited this morning. So we've got a little bit of a wait before we can launch, but I'm extremely excited to get into it. And if you guys are also excited to see me try and track down a big late season snapper and just some big fish in general, then leave a like on this video. It lets me know that you guys want to see more and it just helps me out in general. So let's get into it. Looks like we still have a little while left before we can even get out. Stuck in the mud. Can't even get out yet. Get some baits out while we wait. We've got that whiting and then we've got some squids. We've got a couple of squid, one whiting out. There we go. We're starting to make our way out. I can see like all of the top end of Western Port and there's not a single boat or kayak out here. So there's no one out here this morning. We've got it all to ourselves and I'm just now making the pedal out to our first spot. I'm gonna fish super shallow. Well, not super shallow, probably four or five meters deep. And I'm feeling pretty confident with the baits which we have. All right, approaching our spot. So there's a really nice rock bar and in a minute it should drop right off to the deeper water. So my plan is to anchor right on the bottom of the drop off, right on the bottom of the ledge. So I can have some baits in the deeper water and also some baits back over the ledge in the shallow water. There it is there. There we go. Just cut up that little squid and the first bait we're gonna get out is at the end of the squid hood. So we'll throw that in the deep water. Bait number two is a goody, a very small squid head. Gonna get that one in the shallow water. Gonna have two squid baits out and one whiting bait I reckon to start off with. And final bait is a little whiting cube. Freshly caught yesterday, very, very edible fish, but I got a fair few, so I thought I might as well use one for bait. Well, there we have it. The perfect spread of completely edible baits. We've got squid on the right, whiting in the middle, and squid on the left. So every rod's now set up, and it is the patience game, the waiting game. Hopefully this morning it doesn't take too long because we've got a really good bite window right now, so. We will see. Come on. We got him. What is it? I just set the hooks on him. It's a little pinky, I think. It's a little pinky. Yep, yeah, that didn't take long. It's a smaller version of what we're going for. We're going for a snapper or hopefully something decent like an elephant shark, but I'm pretty sure we've got a little pinky on here. And we do. Well, it didn't take too long. He's only just on. Get him in that net, he's only just hooked. There we go. Nice little snapper. All right, get another squid bait out. Then we'll get a look at this little pinky. Good start, I'm getting another good bite on the whiting. So there's a few little pinkies around it seems. Oh, don't kick mate. Ow, 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 ow. Oh man, spiky little bugger, but there we go, the first pinky of the morning and the first fish of the morning as well on that fresh squid which we caught yesterday. So that's a really, really nice start. Hopefully he's got a few bigger cousins or more of his brothers are around. It's another little pinky. Yep, another one. A little bit deeper water is where they're sitting by the looks. Well, there seems to be a few pinkies about. This one's definitely another baby pinky. Must be the brother of the other one. Must be a little school around. Should be able to see him in just a second here. 
Not a bad little fish. Yep, there he is. Almost the same size as the other one, I reckon. There he is. Once again, another squid ring. We get that out in the exact same spot where we got him. Definitely a little school of them out there. Well, there's a look at the second one. He's a much more pale fish than the first, but once again, roughly the same size. I'm gonna take him home for a feed because I've been craving beer battered fish and loving it recently, so that middle rod's gonna go. For sure. What's that? Yeah, that's a gummy. Is that a gummy? Oh god, big head shakes. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Far out, I'm freaking out. That thing just jumped so far out of the water and it's swimming directly towards me. I don't want to put any pressure on it because I don't want it to jump again on the kayak. Oh, it bit me off. Whew. Oh, I just had a heart attack. Oh, I'm so glad that bit me off. I was shivering, shivering that it was going to run at me and jump again. That was a massive, massive seven-gill shark. Like, massive. Hopefully he doesn't come back. Oh. oh no. That's the same shark. That's the same shark. I don't really want to get this near the kayak, to be honest. Oh my goodness, it's huge. Yeah, I can't get this near the kayak, eh? Well, you've got a giant on, but it's just not what we want. It's swimming at me again. Try to snap this thing off. Use your teeth, you big bugger. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's so scary, man. It's such a scary thing to have hooked up. Like, that shark was as long as my kayak. I saw that thing jump twice, exact same shark. You just don't want to get that near your kayak. I would want to get it up and show you guys, but it's just not worth it. That's a better one. A little bit better, maybe. It's another pinky. No, he's not much better. It's another pinky, though. We've had... Three pinkies in that monster, monster seven giller so far. So it's honestly been quite a productive little morning. A lot of little pinkies, which is good. Good fun. A bigger one would just be a bonus, but we'll take these guys any day. We're just going to leave him in the holder for a second. Oh, that's a better one. Got another one on. <laughs> well, we've got one in the holder, and we're about to have two in the holder. I'm trying to get this other rod sorted, the one which got bitten off. I think this is the first decent fish on my snapped rod. I snapped this rod a couple of trips ago, and this is the first decent fish on it since then. A bit small, but he's all right. Fair to say it's been pretty flat out. We've got one on the snapped rod, and the first one which we caught sitting in the holder here. Get a look. He's a little bit... Oh, he's only just on. Oh, he just fell off. Perfect. This one, on the other hand, he was not coming off. He was very well on there. He's a much smaller one, but well, a little bit smaller one, but still a very nice fish. Any snapper, any pinky this time of year is a good one, so I'm not going to complain. Fourth one of the morning, send him on his way. See you, buddy. Tell you what, I'm feeling generous, so we'll let this other one go as well. He's a little bit small. He can grow up and be a bit bigger. See you, buddy. Time to get serious. We're going to get a completely new spread of baits out with my favourites. So the first one is going to be this whiting head. So there's a little bit of meat left on there. And these big snapper love whiting heads. So we're going to get that out. Could also attract a massive seven gill or ray, but that's just the risk we're going to run. Get that out. Next rod, we're going to get out half of a fresh squid head. My all-time favourite bait. And on the final rod, we're going to get out a squid gut, but it's actually getting a bite at the moment, so I'm going to leave it. Oh, 
That's on. What's that? Is that a little eagle? It is. It's a little eagle, Ray. Something a little bit different. Haven't seen one of these guys in a long, long time. Hello, little eagle. See you, buddy. The action has very much slowed down. In fact, there's nothing going on at all. So I'm going to start heading back in. on the way out of here but if you enjoyed this one and want to see more late season snapper videos where i try and catch my first late season snapper then leave a like on this one comment your thoughts down below and i'll see you in the next video